I don't know. We're getting somewhere. Hi there. We're getting somewhere. Right? Like that helped. I freaking know it. Oh my gosh. Preaching to the effing choir. I don't know what else to do though. I am actually for once. Yo, you know what y'all should try? Um, whenever you're feeling bad about life, try audio journaling. Like try just recording yourself talking and see if you feel better because usually it helps and I like figured out a lot of things just from talking to myself basically. Oh, I have mixed feelings about this lighting and colors and everything. Um, I will. I will. I'll make the longest lasting makeup to ever exist. I feel like if I, if I was rich, I would come out with so much makeup and clothes and definitely a lingerie line. And yeah, I'm not taking that shit out. I don't want to get it infected. Um, thank you so much. Do you believe in possession and exorcism? Something about that question is very spooky to me. But yeah, I do. I think it can happen. Stupid little piece of hair that I cut when I was younger. I cut this piece of hair when I was younger, and I've just had to keep cutting it. But now I'm like, no, I want it to grow out the length of the rest of my hair. And it's just always right here. It doesn't dis- it doesn't go with the rest of my hair. And it's the most annoying thing on the freaking planet. But shout out the knee meets me on and stuff. It's finally ow growing longer. How's the greatest live stream? I haven't said anything interesting yet, but thank you. Thank you very much. Um oh my God. You know when you look at yourself and you just fucking hate it? Like, I don't hate myself by any means, but I'm not vibing with anything I'm seeing right now. Not yet. That just means we're not done. I also have to make a painting. I bought, for some reason, today has just been a big time baby day. And I went to Target And I said, I don't need anything, but I'm just going to get so many clothes for my nephew. And so that's what I did. And then um, I want to make a painting for a friend of mine's baby. And so I have to do that too. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I don't know if I just need dark blush or what. But yeah, so I got to work on that painting today. Because I'm feeling it. I haven't gotten it for him yet. I just bought it today. <laughs> um, let's do those right here. They're like fall clothes. I got him. Um, I got him a little jacket. I got him a little jacket. Um, yeah, they. Ha- I, every once in a while, I'll see like more more subs to Patreon. Shout out people subbing to Patreon. Appreciate you. I thought... My brother would get a kick out of this, but got him a little Tupac shirt. Um, Cause I already got him some other bands and stuff. And then I saw Tupac and I was like, well, I'm gonna literally, I'm just, I get so close to cutting it again. I got him some pants to go with the other clothes. I got him this jacket, which why do I feel like he has it already? I really hope he doesn't. I got him a little lumberjack flannel. I hope he doesn't have that too. I feel like I should have checked these things before I just bought it. But hey, I wanted to, so I did. I got him this long sleeve shirt in case they want to make him nice and snazzy. And they put like, you know what I mean? Like a flannel under moment. I don't know if that's too much for a kid, you know, but the option's there if they want it. Um... And then I got him this flannel, too, because he's got really pretty eyes. And I think that this will bring out his eyes. So I am so excited. 
I'm so excited to give it to him and see him all snazzy. Hi. I'm showing clothes I bought for my niece. I actually already got him a little bike. And it's so cute. I am um, growing up. My aunt big time spoiled me. And now that I'm an aunt, I need to big time spoil him. So, and there's just like babies in my life. And I'm like, you know, when you feel like you're focusing way too much on yourself. So then the best thing to do, you said, no, I said, no. oh, did I say niece this time? No, I said nephew. I said nephew. I may have said niece at some point, but wasn't I talking about my aunt? Maybe I said, my bad. You get it. He's a boy. Uh, thank you. They actually hurt and kept coming off. Because they're super freaking cheap. Um, but yeah, you gotta pass this bonus down. Sometimes you just gotta focus on people around you instead of yourself, and that will make you feel better. Sometimes the secret isn't focusing on yourself more, but focusing on yourself. Why wear a shirt saying dump him? Um, because there's a lot of girls out there who should dump their boyfriends and date me instead. I was actually hanging out with one of them today. One of my friends got a boyfriend, which is really fake and terrible of her because how dare she? How dare she? Like, what, am I not enough for you? What the heck? This is, it, it is motivational. Super liminal? I've never heard that <laughs> before. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say sometimes it's needed advice. And if this advice doesn't apply to you, then don't take it. I'm so annoyed by that. That's going to drive me nuts forever. Maybe I could put like bobby pin it underneath. You know? But I've been big time tucking my hair behind my ear vibe lately, and it's just not working with the little tuft of hair. No, it's stupid and hateful. Well, okay. Sorry. What if the girl's boyfriend is abusive? What if the girl's boyfriend is mean to her? You know? I would say, um, I would say then, it's actually really good advice. And a lot of girls out there are in abusive relationships. So really, this is a positive message. And you thinking it's stupid and hateful, are you suggesting that someone should stay in an abusive relationship? Because that's kind of awful. What if he's nice? Then don't listen. It's a shirt, bro. You think anyone's actually going to look at this shirt and break up with their boyfriend? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this isn't like... This is so freaking true. This is so freaking true. And this is a really good point. Because I was thinking about it last night. And I saw a scene from the show Good Girls with Rio. And I was like, hmm, has any man ever been able to like handle me? <laughs> Cause I think I'm a lot. I do think I'm a lot. Um, bro, if you're bothered by a shirt, what? Um, I mean, I, I, this, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep wearing it. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway. I was thinking about that, and I was like, one, only one man, I think, has ever, has ever, I don't know how to explain it, because handle me sounds so weird, like, you know, people are like, you can't handle me, it's, it sounds like something, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, someone who doesn't make you feel like you're too much. Maybe one, one person did that very well. And I was like, damn, damn, bummer, bummer. Jenna gets it. <laughs> it's 
speaking of. Um, I don't think you need your dog. I want to get a cat. Where the power you hold, you wear a shirt, and all of a sudden people are chipping. This is so true. Did I dump him? No. We never actually dated. We just kind of, we just kind of have gone like this our whole lives. Maybe that's why. But now, also, the people who, oh my god, I, I will.